The Ford Focus already had a strong fleet following and respectable economy and CO2 figures. A midlife update has kept the design fresh while pushing down emissions further. Whether you're interested in the hatchback or the estate driven here, all the engines will meet the Euro 6 standard once the old 1.6 litre diesel disappears from the lineup in the spring. CO2 emissions have improved, with the 1.5 litre diesel making the strongest case for business users. It replaces the old 1.6 litre diesel and drops carbon dioxide emissions to 98 grams a kilometre. That puts the car in the 15% bracket for benefiting kind taxation, rising to 17% in April 2015. That's 2% 2 lower than the old 1.6. The 1.5 litre diesel is available with either 95 horsepower or 120 horsepower, with identical economy and emissions figures in either state of tune. We've been driving the higher powered version and have found the new engine appeals from behind the wheel as well as behind a calculator. There's enough pulling power for confident overtaking and the engine stays quiet unless you rev it really hard better insulation around the carpets, improved sealing around the wing mirrors and other measures to improve refinement mean the Focus is now quieter at speed. Unsurprisingly, the 1.5 litre diesel is the most popular engine in the range, but for greater performance, Ford offers the 150 horsepower 2 litre diesel. Considering the big hike in power, the increase in emissions is relatively small. Manual versions emit just 105 grams a kilometre of CO2. Petrol options include the familiar 1 litre EcoBoost engine, joined by a pair of 1.5 litres. As well as tweaks under the bonnet, Ford has worked to make the Focus even better to drive. The changes have mostly been successful. The Focus is agile and entertaining, but still rides bumps smoothly. Changes to the steering have made it less direct and responsive, though. You could argue that makes the Ford a more relaxing car to drive over long distances, but it does take the edge off the Focus as a driver's car. Inside, the Ford doesn't have the upmarket feel of a Golf, but it's well screwed together. Titanium and Titanium X cars come with the SYNC 2 infotainment system, controlled through an 8-inch touchscreen. It's a worthwhile improvement over the first generation. Ford's interior changes haven't freed up any more space, that means the Focus still trails its roomiest rivals, especially in the rear seats. Six-foot passengers would be much better off in the back of a Skoda Octavia, for example. The Focus also falls short in terms of boot space. This estate has a 476-litre boot. That's poor when many rivals offer more than 600 litres. Folding the rear seats down to make more space means moving the seat bases first, which is a faff when most estates have rear seats which simply fold flat. There are better estates, but the Focus remains one of the best cars to drive in the lower medium segment. What's more, lower emissions mean it now makes better fiscal sense than ever, and whole life costs put the Focus close to the top of the class.